Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest today is Dr. Laura Walsh Dickey, who is the lead, the site lead for Amazon, the top official for Amazon right here in Pittsburgh. And I very much wanted to have you on the show, Laura, to talk about Women's International Women's Month and the role of women in programs like the one you're leading at Amazon. Welcome to the show. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. So let me ask you a little bit about what it is you do and the program that you're leading here in Pittsburgh. Thank you. Well, the corporate site for Amazon in Pittsburgh is uh, based in the South Side, and we are an artificial intelligence and engineering uh, corporate site. We have uh, hundreds of people working there, working on Alexa, bringing Alexa to your cars, and bringing uh, Amazon shopping global. You know, a lot of people think that uh, Amazon is just a shopping mechanism, but you are right in the middle of some very high technology. And as a woman, I know you've been a proponent and strong leader in making sure that we have more women involved in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. What's the status of women in STEM these days, uh, Dr. Dickey? Well, it could be better. Um, and we know that diversity of thought and talent, um, actually CMU has uh, brought out some beautiful studies showing that that makes a big difference to the products that we create and the business bottom line. And uh, women in STEM is, Overall, in the, in the country, it's about 30%. I think at the big companies, it's a lot less than that. Uh, we have a long way to go. And it was surprisingly better decades ago, yes? That's true. Uh, in the early days of computer science, uh, it was pretty equal um, in the 70s. It wasn't considered um, something gendered. Uh, there were a lot of women and a lot of women getting computer science degrees. Uh, that actually got worse in the 80s when the, you know, movies and TV showed, uh, you know, boys in their basement with their computers and really associated uh, uh, boys and men with computer science. Um, and so the, the uh, computer science enrollments dropped for women. And so we actually lost a lot of ground that we're still trying to make up now. Can you describe what women are doing specifically at Amazon and particularly here in Pittsburgh at your uh, organization? Well, Amazon uh, employs women in all kinds of capacities and we have a lot of um, world-class uh, scientists and engineers uh, working on bringing um, the Amazon retail to multiple languages so that everyone can shop in their different languages, uh, for example. And so we have uh, real recruiting effort and mentoring efforts to make sure that we bring in women from the local universities, which have top talent, um, and people from all over the country. And we specifically are looking to recruit, make sure we recruit women, um, but also make sure we can keep them because mentors and role models make a real difference in people's ability to um, really stick with their jobs and, and grow their careers. Do you have any sense, Laura, on how Pittsburgh stacks up with other parts of the country when it comes to giving women opportunities in the STEM field? Well, we're no better or no worse uh, in the US. Um, the US does fall behind in, uh, some other countries for STEM, for women in STEM, countries that maybe you wouldn't even consider um, Iran, um, India, and uh, China have um, real equality in STEM for women, and we don't see that here. Um, Pittsburgh itself is uh, a reflection of our, our country's pipeline problem and making sure that we, uh, we need to make sure we actually encourage girls at a young age um, to, to follow the passions that they have for engineering, math, science, uh, anything that they think they can do they should be able to continue to do. Well, Dr. Laura Walsh Dickey, thank you so much for spending time with us during International Women's Month. There is a lot more I know we can do, and I thank you for your leadership in this area. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much, John. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.
All right, thanks, John, for that report. Words of warning coming from Russia this morning. Coming up at the top of the hour, what the country says it will do 